Right, Felix, I hope your mic is working now. Whenever you're ready, the floor is yours. So the question was, is being a furry healthy? And when I think of health, I consider three things, which is personal health, um, how you fit in socially, and purpose, because that I think is one of the biggest issues that a lot of people struggle with. And as far as um, personal health, I think identity can be a huge issue. Uh, finding out who you are in society, generally speaking, I'm not saying everyone, but uh, they kind of limit on how to identi uh, identify yourself as an acceptable member of the community. But when you don't feel like you fit in um, into the categories available, like, you know, you have to be this go-getter or I don't know. Um, furries, I think, is just an easy accepting way to help you find out who you are and mold yourself um, through how you feel. And it doesn't necessarily have to be so structured. It could be something that's ambiguous and free, which is one of the great things about it. And when you feel like you, you don't have that stress and anxiety from, you know, meeting the expectations of others, it makes it a lot easier on yourself and you can focus on other things and grow mentally and, and be a better person. Um, and an individual, and people don't understand that. So um, there, and then it comes kind of into acceptance of like who you are and just you know growing. Um, and then kind of going into social with the your kind of place in the community, it helps you get an easy way in finding out how you positively affect others and what you want to do with that. I mean, this could be something as simple as just being on a forum and talking to other people, and and then they might give you a comment, a compliment on something, and you realize your, um, you know, some of your strengths and some of your weaknesses, and and then uh, you can affect other people positively. And a lot of the time, just being part of the furry community, you can see how a lot of I know I've heard a lot of people say negative things about how people are affected by you know bullying and stuff like that, but that makes you aware of how that bullying affects you. And, you know, you have this kind of empathy for others that feel this way and you can kind of be more accepting and understanding of who they are and where they're going. And even if they don't feel like they're, they want to be part of, you know, the furry community, that's, that's fine. You can still talk about, you know, I mean, most of our channels in, in this furry um, discord in general is a lot of gaming. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be one thing. So. And then it comes to, I'm trying to try not to go too long, but purpose. I mean, it makes, I think being a furry makes us kind of unique. And kind of, I don't, I don't want to use the word special, but like it helps you feel like you're doing something that might impact someone positively. And that gives you a sense of purpose. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something positive. It couldn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be for someone else, but it just makes it kind of fun. And when you're motivated to do something, then usually positive things come out of that. And it's usually less um, dysmorphic. I don't know if that, that's the right word to use, but it makes you feel good about who you are and, and where you're going. And I just think it's being a furry allows you to be what you want to be. And Honestly, that's one of the most important things a person can feel. So that's all I had. Thank you very much, Felix. Thank you for that.